We begin our newscast tonight with a Fox 44 exclusive. The former superintendent of Waco ISD is speaking out for the first time since his arrest and resignation. Fox 44's Kendall Green spoke with Dr. Nelson. He joins us with that report. Kendall. Hey, Adam. Dr. Nelson was recognized at the Central Texas Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Banquet. He received the Outstanding Public Service Award, and he spoke out for the first time to a crowd of hundreds and to Fox 44 News. <laughs> Dr. Marcus Nelson was met with a standing ovation at the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Banquet in Waco, much different from the public reaction after his marijuana arrest in early March seen in this video. When he was arrested by DPS, many were split on whether Nelson should continue to lead Waco ISD. And as those conversations continued, Nelson resigned. And now, months later, Dr. Nelson tells Fox 44 that he's hoping to redeem himself. In my position, there's a high standard of accountability and consequences, and I've certainly learned that. And uh, I believe in that. I think that um, I have to be held accountable for the mistakes that I've made, and it has humbled me. And he's eager to get back to work. Soon, Nelson hopes to land in a district where his skills as an educator can benefit students. I'm not real sure what the future holds. I'm kind of taking it one day at a time, but my hope is to find a school district that will allow me to utilize my talents in serving children. He says he also wants to serve in a district where he can use his recent experience as a teaching tool to improve students' decision making as well. I believe in having drug free schools, bully free schools, uh, schools where all the kids do exactly what they're supposed to do every day. But I also believe in having schools that teach kids about resiliency and redemption. Hopefully I can be an example uh, to kids who have made a mistake that it's not the end of the world. His hope now is to become a champion and advocate for students who some educators often struggle to reach. And those kids need to have an opportunity to get themselves together, get on the right track, and go on and get a college degree. Go on and become our future teachers, our future news reporters, our future elected officials. And one mistake doesn't define any of us. Dr. Nelson says the lesson he learned is now a part of the lesson he's hoping to teach. So I've certainly learned some valuable lessons, and I have a long way to go in my journey, but I can assure you that excellence is my battle cry. Despite my mistakes, despite my transgressions, and I promise you this, I will be back. Dr. Nelson says he's in good standing with the Texas Education Agency and his charges have since been removed. Now he's hoping to land in a school district in the future. Reporting in the studio, Kendall Green, Fox 44 News.